Starting tomorrow, you're invited to see life differently as the Heartland Film Festival returns to the Circle City featuring some truly moving pictures. In today's Focus, we're pleased to have one of the filmmakers join us on set. Thomas Gaunt is the creator of A Place Called Home, an adoption story. He joins us today to talk more about his film along with Jeff Sparks from the Heartland Film Festival. And it's nice to always have you with us, gentlemen, you in particular. Yes, this thank is your you. first time. Yes. And it's good to have you. We'll talk about your film in just a moment. But first, let's address for our viewers what the Heartland Film Festival is all about. It's, it's going. Well, it's a great festival. We had 579 films entered from all over the world. Wow. And there will be award-winning films. And these are the 21 winning films. So these are the mm. best films that are out there that are truly moving. And the purpose of this festival is just in... Is to honor the films that, that celebrate life. Yes. And, and there's not a better one than the one that we're going to be talking with. Uh, it's a great find. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, of the 579 films, this one made the cut, mm -hmm. and it has a local connection. But we'll let Thomas... Thomas, yes, tell us more about that. Thomas is from Indianapolis, yeah. and you're telling your family story in the documentary. Tell us the title of it again and what it's all about. Uh, the title of the documentary is A Place Called Home, An Adoption Story. And it's really about, um, the, my parents decided one day to adopt nine children. They read wow. an article on Mother's Day in the Indianapolis Star. And they'd already had the empty nest, already raised their children, and decided to take that leap of faith. And the interesting thing is all the, the children are brothers and sisters. So it's oh an added, added element to it. Well, we're going to see a little clip of it, and then we'll come back on the back end and talk a little bit more about okay. it before we're finished. Let's take a look at it. Okay. The idea of adoption wasn't exactly new to mom and dad. I happened to uh, have a father that had been adopted, so I think that had a great deal to do with what my future life was going to be like, because I felt a sense of duty to repay to society uh, the benefits that I had as a child. So I was uh, soaking in the tub, just uh, not a care in the world, and Gene walks in, having read the Sunday morning paper, and says, I've got something I want you to look at and read and think about, but I don't want you to say anything until you've had time to think about it. And with that, she handed me an article out of the newspaper, uh, Sunday's Child, which profiled uh, nine children. So uh, that's how it started. These children. That's a tease of what you'll see. I'm so yeah. sorry that we're out of time, but the good thing is people will want to see more. Let's put up on the screen where they can find out where all the films are going to be. Call that number on your screen or log on to WTHR.com. This runs through October 29th. And thank you both. I'm excited oh, for your first thank film. Thank you so much you. for having us on. Really appreciate it. Oh, not a problem. It's nice to have the Hoosier Filmmaker Connection winning an award. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right, that looks like a great film, Angela. Thank you.